stuff. All that stuff is corrupt. Leave it alone. Back away from it. Now, if you think if you think I'm saying don't get a house or live on the street, then you need to just turn the video off and watch something else. You, you too far behind. Get what you need. And if you apply for the house, then that's cool. Get your house. Put your stuff in there. And live your life according to y'all bush me all shots. You want a car? Go in. Whatever cars you uh, handle within your budget, some people make more money than the next man. So my car will be a lot less, uh, a lot more like, a lot less likable than this brother's car. But he's not gonna get on the video and promote his car. Hey, look at me, I, I, I'm doing it big. And I'm over here, you know what I mean? We don't act like that. That ain't, that, that, that's not, a, a godly way to live. That's not how how Mushroom Yellow Shot is supposed to be presented to the world. We're supposed to present it. Fuck all this stuff in the world. Let's get back to the true knowledge. There's people out there still celebrating Christmas. Eating pork. Eating pork. Eating shrimp. Throwing shrimp up in the air. Eating it like that. It's all kind of stuff going on. But you want a video about a car. The job ain't done. It ain't over. There's still work to be done. That's right, brother. There's still, we're still building a spiritual house. You acting like it's time to move in. Exactly. You, you showed up with a, a, a bed set. Like, bro, the house ain't built. What are you, you doing? It's a lot of work to be done, but you playing. That's right. And that's what we're trying to present. An admonishment to tell you niggas to get yourself right. Now, whether you do it or not, that's between uh, you and your how about Chanel Shah. I really don't care. But, it, but I'm going to, to make these videos for the edification of everybody. Most high willing. Go ahead. This is verse 2. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Verse 3. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness so, against you. So even if you have all of those riches and all those things, it's going to turn out, it's going to end up being a witness against you. And just like that video. It's a witness against your spirit. You got a, 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 a wicked spirit on you when you're doing shit like that. That's right. Because there's brothers out there that can't get a car. You putting them in the zone, we're like, man, I ain't shit. Young brothers out there thinking that, man, well, I, I, I got to go hustle and do this. I'm taking his time away from the real riches. He can't make it to class or camp. Now, now he's not now he's not devoted to your house. I should be on show. But damn, bro, I'm trying, to, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get to where you were showing me. I didn't mean it like that. You know what? You wouldn't have to go on into that if you led by a spiritual example. That's right. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. So to win the lottery right now, man, that would be, that would be the worst possible scenario. You win the lottery, you probably say to yourself, man, y'all about to know, shout out on me. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm going to try to justify it. <laughs> I'm done. But to win the lottery and have all that money, more than likely, that shit is going to tear you away. You sitting up here with $40 million in your account, you ain't thinking about coming to camp. You're thinking about taking over the world. You're thinking about doing all kinds of shit. What's the limit? What, okay, you, you want to go out. You want to go to Sandaga downtown? No, man, you you going know, to pick it at the, the most expensive places, the lavish life, all of that stuff. That spinning, that spinning ball. Yeah, you gonna you gonna buy the whole thing. You gonna rent it out. You gonna buy the whole thing out, speed the ball up, ball going fast, all kind of shit. You gonna just be doing your thing. Front row tickets at the Mavs, the Cowboys game. You don't even like them. Yeah, it's popped up. The camera time. Yeah, it's on the scene. Yeah, that's the stuff that you'd be worried about. You ain't worried about out here trying to uh, preach the word. You damn sure ain't gonna be doing your two videos. Go ahead. All right. God. Damn sure you get your two videos done. Go ahead. You gotta be slacking. Let me start off. Verse 5. I started to get, uh, I'll start at verse 3 again. Your gold and silver is cankered. The rust on them shall be a witness against you. That's right. And, and that's it on that video. That, that, that video is a witness against you. You were, you were portraying that lifestyle, that lavish lifestyle. Because it was the car. Somebody had a house that was on the lake. It was a nice house from what I saw. What the fuck do I care about that? I'm trying to get out of here. That's right. Ain't worried about that shit. That's right. But you presenting it like, look at us. Look at y'all. All that stuff is a witness against you. And that's what the video is about. Get your shit together. Stop putting that whack shit out in the atmosphere. That's right, brother. I, but, but
but as I say that, I know that that may be what the Lord has in store for you. But I'm going to do my job and tell you that you're bullshitting and you shouldn't put that dumb shit up. And the next video will be about something else. Yeah. But that's good on that. You got a reset? Uh, no, I ain't going to do that. We'll finish up uh, back in 10 minutes. Verse 10. First Timothy, verse 10. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. First Timothy, verse. I mean, chapter 6, verse 10. So like, for the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of the money is what pushes you to do that wax shit. Not money itself, the love of money. The love of money causes you to go and want the nice cars, and want to do this, and, and, and go out of your way to try to obtain it. That's what the love for it will do. It's like the love of basketball will have you in the gym all the time. Not just because there's a basketball, but you love it. That's what you in there all the time. Any free moment you get, you bouncing it around for that love of the game. It's the same thing with money. It's not just because you have money, you're evil. It's the love the, to try to attain these, all these riches that are in the world. Right, yeah, and, and that's all it's something that we have to clarify for these simple people out there, man. It ain't nothing wrong with having money. That's why the scripture specifically says it. The, for the love of money is the root of all evil. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and get it now. This is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, seven and twelve. It says, "For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense." But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom giving light to them that have it. So it's basically saying that money's a defense, man. If you got money, money can get you out of a lot of fucked up situations, man. If you're being sued, if you have to get a damn lawyer, you know, if you jammed up in, in certain situations, man, if you need this or you need that, man, but having money, man, the, the, the most high put that as a tool of defense, like the scripture says. But for the love of money, that's the root of all evil. Basically, when you basically it uh, comes to a point where you worship the money and the things that it brings, that's when it becomes evil and a ruin unto you, man. So money itself for you simple niggas, man, it ain't nothing wrong with having money. Because there's certain brothers within the body that have a little more, man. It ain't nothing wrong with having money itself. It's just the love of money, man. When you basically put your mind and all your energy into trying to make money, trying to save money, instead of putting your 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 mind and, and your and your whole uh, perspective on your how about shit, y'all shit. That's know? right. You got it. Huh? Uh, uh, let me read this verse. Psalms 37:16. A little that a righteous righteous man had is better than the riches of many wicked. The, the little that you have, be cool with that. As long as you're striving, according to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you're good. Don't worry about nothing. You can have a little, but as long as you got that righteousness, you're rich. Like it says in uh, Revelation 2 and 9. But thou art rich. What are you rich in? You're rich in all the things that actually $200,000 if it can't get you out of a traffic jam on 635. What is it? It's a hunk of metal like you might as well be sitting in the same car as the next guy. A nigga coming up to you at the light trying to rob you and get you out of there. It ain't going to somehow turn into some type of shield vessel to save you out of that uh, mm -hmm. situation, you know? It's just vanity, basically, yeah. man, at the end of the day. And basically, the knowledge and wisdom of the Heavenly Father, that's the only thing through our faith, man, that's going to actually have the ability to save us out of all the peril that's to come. Because you niggas ain't teaching the prophecies, actually, if right. you're talking about or basically promoting, get money and, and, and posing in front of cars, man. It's about to be hard times coming into a, into this place, man. So we need to be building up our people spiritually, man, to set their mind on having to suffer and, and do without. So right now it's important to stress being content and being godly. So when that time comes, we'll know how to be maneuvered, you know? So when the gas prices go to $8 a gallon, and your car, you can't drive your car in that day, because like I said, you're working a $12 an hour job, you got six hundred dollars in child support payments you gotta make. So, what is that car turning into at that point? A little apartment? A little, you live in the apartment now? Yeah. What is it? What is that stuff gonna do for you? And I got one more precept. Proverbs eleven and four: Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. So them riches, when 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 your house shot come back, and that great beautiful chariot that's gonna be in the sky, that great scary wonderful chariot in the sky, what is your car gonna do? What is your house on the lake? You gonna be able to get in the water and hide 
from the heat that's coming from you? It's all over with. So what are you striving for worldly things when the world is about to be uh, burned away? Which wild son? Uh, I'm in the middle of 10. Which wild, which wild some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. They erred from the faith. Now you putting out whack ass videos, you don't even know what you're doing. You just, you, the video, a 13 minute long video, for example, and 10 minutes, you talking about shit that don't matter to nobody. You talking about how to uh, twist your hair and dreadlock. Something dumb like that. Like being super. Yeah, you start the video all crazy, all mushroom, all shot. And then you go in, how to, how to make ramen noodles, how to make homemade ramen noodles, something like that. You gotta get yourself focused. Because right. all this stuff can just pull you away. You get the nice car, what comes with nice car? The women. But what type of woman comes with? The type of woman you don't need to be nowhere near. The type of attention that comes with that, you don't need to be nowhere near attention. That type of attention. You need to be in that type of attention, that 2007 Toyota Corolla, that type of attention. Where ain't nobody checking for you, ain't nobody bothering you more for more. Sneaking up on you. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. And pierce themselves through with many sorrows. First, and that video and that, that, that bad look that you put out there, that, that pierced you through with many sorrows. Because though you may see it as not nothing wrong and you just living your life, there's the true men of the Lord are judging that. Most high willing, that's us. But the true men of the Lord are gonna be judging that. And, that, and, and, and they're gonna they're gonna shoot them, them hard shots at you. Shoot them straight shots at you. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt because the evidence is all out there in the in the YouTube land. Go ahead. Verse 11. But thou, O man of Yahweh, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Following after righteousness will have you straying or going away from that stupid stuff. That's right. Doing a video in front of your car, and I got this new whip, check me out. Following after righteousness will tell you, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna do a video about this topic and uplift your how about your house shop, maybe go over some of these laws or go over have a faith in your house shop, something, and I'm gonna get up out of here. But you putting out videos, but you in front of your whip, just took it to the car wash, $25, you know you could have spent on something else. Verse 12. Got something? Go ahead. No, no, no. Hold that and jump right there. Uh, this is Sirach 31 and 1. It says, Watch him for riches, consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep. It says, I'm going to jump down. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, uh, Sirach 31 and 8. It says, Blessed is the rich that is found without blemish and hath not gone after gold. So that's just basically backing up to the point, man, that, that godliness with contentment, man, because we just read also that money is the defense, so it ain't nothing wrong with having money. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. So basically a man that the most high blessed to have a lot, if he's conducting himself the right way, helping the brothers, putting the most high, and serving the most high through faith as the number one priority, man, Blessed is that man. So that's why the Lord gave you the money in the first place. Yep. So you can distribute distribute it amongst the brethren. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you come into a whole lot of money and you don't distribute it spiritually, then you're gonna end up falling off. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be going to come out to the highways and byways, you're gonna have some expensive money. You know what I'm saying? But if you distribute it amongst the brethren that need it, you storing up your treasures in heaven. Exactly. I would much rather have enough money to spread it amongst the brethren here, because it's all going to, to not anyway, you know what I'm saying? And if, 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 if you spend all that money on yourself, you ain't gonna get the, 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 the spiritual blessing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't storing up nothing in heaven. You storing it up all down here, and you gonna burn up with it. That's right. I'm gonna read this quick precept. Proverbs 22 and 1, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, Man. and loving favor rather than silver and gold. So a good name is, is way above your whack-ass Chrysler 2016 Chrysler 300. A good name is way above that. And that same guy I'm talking about, he don't have a good name in, in, in uh, Israel. His reports of the man committing adultery and all that just madness like that. I just can't remember his name. But you don't have a good name already and you just continue along this path. 
Like, the, like I was saying earlier, you need to sit your ass down. Yep. A good, I would say a good name in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. You got to come out of the world to have a good name in the eyes of the How about Shimmy I was shot? You know what I'm saying? You can't be dangling your foot in the world and all that. No. Uh -uh. Get out of the world. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, said, the Lord prayed for those who are not of the world like right. he did not. So if you ain't on that tip, you know what I'm saying? This might not be for you, man. That's right, brother. That's the whole point of the matter, I think, man. Because for the love of the money, that's basically a worldly spirit. But at the same time, the Most High, he blesses certain brothers with more. Who he knows through the spirit has the ability to conduct themselves uh, properly yep. with those that, that money of those riches, man. But the Most High ain't gonna bless no nigga. Or if the Most High uh, uh, allow a nigga to have money, he ain't gonna be in the truth, man. He gonna end up, uh, that's gonna be to his ruin and his destruction, man. And right now, the times we're coming into, if he's posing in front of Christ the 300s and basically putting that vibration amongst our people, man, he ain't gonna be ready when he's all this hell comes. Man, he gonna get caught up out there. And him in that damn Christ of 300 gonna be burned up. <laughs> he, gonna to, he, he gonna have to eat that Christ of yeah. 300. <laughs> it's gonna turn in from a nice yeah. car to your to your apartment. Trunk me. And then, and then the so-called white man will roll up, put some gas in it, man. kick you out of it, and take it. Yeah, man. Right, another quick reset. Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Uh -huh. Give me neither poverty nor riches. I say the vanity and lies, don't say the vanity and lies come from all that money, man. That's what, that's what money brings, vanity and lies. Go ahead. Feed me with food convenient for me. Feed me with food that's convenient for me, man. Give me the knowledge, wisdom, understanding exactly. to know to be content with food and raiment. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's riches. To understand that all this is vanity and all this is madness and you don't even gotta get into all that to survive, that's a hell of a start. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. That was it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, read that, read that last verse and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll close it up. Okay, come on. This is verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Fight that good fight. Like I said earlier, not having money is a great way to practice your faith because you, all you can depend on is your Yahweh from Yahweh Shah taking care of you. And as you see the Most High through His Son taking care of you, your faith is built. Then you get your ass out here and do what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing your two videos, you're coming to camp, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's what it's all about, building your faith up. But not, not, but not being trapped in, in I want to get the new 2016, I got to get the 17 when that comes out. Not being trapped in all that madness. But trapped in humility. Trapped in just trusting the you know, Yahweh your own shot. Being content with what you got and moving on from the situation. Anybody got anything else? That's all I have. With that, once again, all praise to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yah